bird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm dressing up, yeah, Kratos. So if any of you were on the way, you've been living under a rock, been going on about it for months. So me and the boys are heading off to uh, Comic Con London today. Louis, one of my favourite characters, that was funny to choose. I knew we, when we were sitting in the kitchen and we decided to go, immediately knew who Leon, who Le see now I'm calling him. <laughs> see, no, 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 listen. So anyway, Louis Leon S. Kennedy from Resident Evil. As you know, I'm a massive Resident Evil fan. And uh, it's just good because he's grown his hair and it just seemed right. And then he's obviously got Arge. Arge was difficult to choose what to do. How many different things did we go through? Well, first we picked Aladdin. Well, Aladdin. I think, I think we should have started with that. Bad in Jafar, I was like, yeah, bro, just go, go that route, bro, it was easy. Um, and then we settled on uh, Mortal Kombat Scorpion. So, um, there's been some dramas, though. There's been some dramas with outfits yeah. arriving on time. My outfit's still in Heathrow. So, now. yeah. Yours is actually in Heathrow? It's in Heathrow. So, it did actually make it to this country? Yeah, yeah. That's oh, that's on, on the day of Comic Con. Oh, can we drive by? So, I've gone and bought something for a party shop. Oh, so basically, what happened with Arch? He bought a very good outfit coming from China and it's obviously Comic Con day and it hasn't arrived yet. So he had to go on like a, literally a party shop version. Yeah, so dead. we'll see, we'll see. I think it'll pass because he's got the good build. He's got the mask which he bought independently from someone else. The mask is good. He's yeah, the mask so is good. We might be able to pull this off. His was a breeze. Oh, it was a breeze. He, he paid for it that day and then obviously it came <laughs> probably a it week or two in yeah. advance. Same yeah. shop though, we bought it from same the same place, supplier. Yeah, but when did you order yours versus yeah. him? A few weeks, a couple of weeks later. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so there's only one person really to blame it. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. No, we didn't pick my character, by the way. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah. I'm still... I'm I was going to be He-Man at first. Okay, okay, okay. Right. So anyway, yeah, we're heading there today. A little bit of something different. Obviously, we're always doing the same stuff. So, uh, yeah. Mira's here. Love Mira's doing the, uh, the makeup. As you can see, the table's full of stuff. Very, very kind of her to come and help us out. Um, Mira does a lot of, like, really beautiful makeup as well. Not, this isn't the traditional kind of stuff. I've seen, like, weddings like uh, photo shoes, you know, when you look really pretty basically. Not what I'm doing. Um, but obviously this as well, so we'll, uh, we'll make sure we get some details in there. And yeah, we're at Argus, and we're just gonna uh, get ready, and then in a couple of hours time, head off to the expedition. So yeah, it's gonna be cool. Looking forward to it. All right, guys, we're among our people now. Look, you can see everybody here, all dressed up. And uh, it's been a good start. Just, just got through the door. Already taken about five pictures, so uh, let's head on in to the London XL and see what the uh, the day has in store. Good response so far. Fucking time. Atreus is the son of Atreus. This is, this is baby Atreus. Atreus, so you're getting to meet him for the first time for real. <laughs> in real life. AKA Loki. So he might be a bit of a mischievous one. Yeah. He is Batman's dad, but. <laughs> but he's. Uh, he is the real baby Atreus. Bless him, bless him. Can you take a picture yeah, so I can have yeah, him yeah. for the memory? Yeah, please, please, please. <laughs>
All right, so, wow. What a response, honestly, guys. Like, I walked in here, it was quite quiet for like, what, five minutes? And then we got over to like one of the walls, took a picture of ourselves, and then people started queuing up to get in the pictures. Madness. And then ever since then, we ain't really stopped. So, uh, yeah, it's really cool. But when you say we, you mean you? Well, Scorpion's had a few pics. Yeah, we, like, one geezer was like, Leon Kennedy. Sympathy pics. One sympathy person, pics. one person was like, Leon Kennedy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, man, it's really cool. Do you know what? The environment's just like so relaxed. But like, I don't like having my top off. I hate having my top off in public. But having paint on and knowing that these people aren't really that judgmental, it's a really nice change. Because obviously at a bodybuilding show, you know you're being literally ripped apart for any flaw you have. So you know that judges are like scrutinizing you for something that regular people who aren't that fussed wouldn't scrutinize you for. So I don't know. I thought that was just an interesting thing to share. Um, just having a lunch break because literally we've been. It's like 11 o'clock now, and what time did we start? 11 o'clock now. Yeah, so it's about, we're about two hours, two and a half hours in, uh, and we haven't eaten since we got here, so we're just, uh, yeah, just getting some lunch in. Because bodybuilding don't stop. You know, a lot of people here have been like, what do you do for a job? I'm like, bodybuilding. So, you know, got to eat. But yeah, it's really cool, really enjoying it. Um, definitely be back. Yeah, it's some good costumes. People make a real effort. Um, I love it. It's great. It's fucking great. So cheers to Arj for like suggesting. And uh, time to eat. diary it's 2 30 we've sat down for another meal and oh my god how many pictures have you taken well, is how many pictures do you reckon i've taken hundreds no, no, no. so you bro there's a there's a lot of pictures man. all i'm saying is i haven't stopped so you, have, you haven't have to be more than a meter you know the mad thing here let me say i said this to you guys earlier you know in bodybuilding yeah you can be on the mr olympia stage Go to a show, no one wants a photo. Here, yeah. everybody wants a photo. This is the kind of respect and appreciation that I love in this industry, which you don't get in bodybuilding. And I'm not saying everyone's got to kiss each other's ass, but maybe it's because pros are so... Maybe it's because the pro car's so easy to get now, I don't give a shit. Because when I was younger and I saw a pro, I was fucking blown away. Like, I knew who they were, I don't know, I was, it's funny, but I love this, there's a lot of respect. This is cool, it's fucking cool, honestly, love it. Now it's time for another meal. The boys have been drinking a couple of pints again down them. So I'm glad they're enjoying themselves. It's all good, it's all good.
Outside Comic Con after a very long six, I think six hours. Yeah. We got here at um, around nine o'clock. And I mean, we spoke and took photos non stop from the beginning to the end. To be fair, like, it's five o'clock now. It's been yeah. like eight hours. Yeah. It's been eight Jesus hours. Christ. And we literally had three, two meals while I was here. Stopped every few hours. Voice is gone. Uh, a bit dehydrated. Legs are sore. I imagine the boys are the same. Um, but what an outstanding experience. What a bunch of good people. It was uh, it was so nice to be around people that don't judge. Like just everybody's free flow, dressing up however they wish. Boys dressing up as men, uh, girls. Girls dressing up as boys. Uh, colourful, not so colourful. And like just no one judging each other. It was just nice. I'm a bodybuilder, yeah. And I just was trying to say to the boys earlier. It's funny how you can be a bodybuilder in this sport, and yet you can turn up to a show and you still have people hating on you just because they might not like you as a person. As a, like they think they don't like you as a person, they don't know you. Whereas like in 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 this, you walk in there, and I mean everybody's like happy to see anybody. And if you're not, you know, if you're not here to see a certain someone, you just don't come up to them, and take a photo. I think other industries can learn a lot from this kind of industry. Because like I say, I, I you know, the guys like myself have made it, you know, quite well in bodybuilding. Are very quickly judged by others and ripped apart by other people's opinions at times, which really doesn't have to exist because this proves that. So I suppose the point of this video today is just to be among other people, uh, to have a great time, which I did. Um, but also to highlight some of the kind of, I suppose, issues that are going on in our industry right now. Room for improvement. There's a lot of room for improvement with how we all treat each other. You know, if you're fans of bodybuilding, you should support bodybuilding as a whole. You know, if, you're, if someone's not your favorite athlete, it doesn't mean you have to get on Instagram and take to their throat. You know what I mean? You just let bygones be guard bygones. Um, so yeah, I, I, do you know what I'd say to everybody? I'd say to everybody that loves bodybuilding, but also loves a bit of anime, cartoons, dressing up. Come to one of these and you'll realize that's how things should be. What an experience, great experience. I had a great day, loved it. Um, thank you to Mira for the awesome uh, makeup. Because when we went in there, I kid you not, the minute like the top was off when we were in there, it was like photos nonstop. That's one of my throat's gone to speak to everybody. Um, it was a great time. And really, I don't really know what else to say. I just had a fantastic time. And, uh, I'll definitely be back. I think I'm going to work on like a Mark II for the outfit just to keep improving it because it was so fun. And uh, I think Arge will look at some dates. Uh, other than that, the thing I did say, because we did do an outfit before, but we messed it up, so I'm just doing another one. Um, I will be doing the show in Italy, so 15 weeks out tomorrow. So that's an announcement. Um, boys are coming, so it's going to be nice. That will be in Milan. And uh, that's the Yamamoto Cup, so that's where I aim to qualify for the Olympia. And then a couple of weeks later, I'll be stepping on stage at the Arnold Classic UK. Uh, invite permitting, because they haven't released the uh, invitees yet, so let's see. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. It's something a little bit different. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it, so even if you don't enjoy it, I enjoyed it, and that's all that matters. <laughs> but thank you for tuning in. Please remember to like the channel, to subscribe to the uh, channel, because it is good having you here to watch stuff, but if you don't subscribe, you know, doesn't really uh, doesn't really help me out. <laughs> I need the subs, so uh, please do sub if you don't mind. It's free; it doesn't cost you anything, and it really helps the channel grow. So thank you so much. Thank you to Faith Films. Thank you to Louis. Thank you to Arch. Thank you to Janet for putting together such an awesome outfit, and uh, thank you to this event at Comic Con. We will be back.